Hey guys, welcome back. So I have a cup of leftover paint um, from the last several pours for last week. Um, and then I have, I went back to the store and I found these larger gemstones. They're glass gemstones. Um, they're quite a bit larger than the others. Um, they're the same thickness, but they're just bigger. Um, so we're going to use these to make some larger size magnets. So I wanted to pour on them, but instead of having to mix paint up, I'm just going to use the leftover paint. So this has some Arteza paints, some Waverly Inspiration chalk paints, um, there's some Artist Loft paints in here. There might even be some color shift, and there is silicone in here um, from a couple pieces. So it's just going to have a lot of colors in it. There's like blues, greens, orange, red, yellow, black, white, some custom colors. I think there's some rose gold, some burnt sienna. There's a few up here that had some extra silicone and I can tell that it was in the top because <laughs> the paint was not sticking. So those are actually really gorgeous just from using leftover paint. So they're some really pretty like baby blues and teals that I don't even remember mixing up. Um, so it may have just been the colors mixing together. And I think it worked pretty cohesive so that each set of three makes a decent set. That's why I, even though I just needed to pour this one because of silicone, I went ahead and poured these two so that they would be co cohesive. This one actually still has a little bit of that lime green that doesn't match anything, so I'm gonna try to pour this little corner here just so that it will still match. There we go. And all the skins that are dripping below, um, I'll allow that to dry so that I can have some skins because I know our pouring group, Pouring in Harmony, is gonna be doing something in the future with skins because they told us to start saving our skins so really excited about these hope they dry great and i hope you guys enjoyed that was just a quick little kind of all mixed together leftover paint pour so when these dry we'll varnish them and then after they're varnished we will add magnets to them and they'll be ready for sale hope you guys enjoyed